In the world of acting, the actor, George C. Scott, left an indelible mark. Born on October 18, 1927, in Wise, Virginia, Scott's passion for acting began at a young age. After serving in the military, he pursued his dream and enrolled in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Scott's career spanned over four decades, and he graced both stage and screen with his powerful presence. He won two Emmy Awards for his role in the television production of Hallmark Hall of Fame and the miniseries Oliver Twist. However, it was his portrayal of General George S. Patton in the film Patton that earned him a place in Hollywood history. Scott's riveting performance won him an Academy Award for Best Actor, which he famously declined. Despite his success in film, the actor never lost his love for the stage. He won two Tony Awards for his work in the Andersonville trial and Death of a Salesman. Scott's ability to captivate audiences with his raw emotion and intensity made him a force to be reckoned with in the industry. Throughout his career, the actor was known for his refusal to compromise his artistic integrity. He was not afraid to speak his mind and often clashed with studio executives. His unwavering dedication to his craft earned him the respect of his peers and solidified his place as a Hollywood legend. The actor's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. His ability to bring complex characters to life and his commitment to his craft have left an enduring impact on the industry. George C. Scott's story is a testament to the power of following one's dreams and the indelible mark that one person can leave on an entire industry. George C. Scott was a prominent actor known for his powerful and commanding presence on screen. His unique style set him apart from his contemporaries, making him an enduring symbol of the industry. One of the things that made Scott stand out was his ability to fully embody any character he played. Whether he was playing a military officer, a doctor, or a writer, Scott brought depth and complexity to each role. He was equally comfortable in both dramatic and comedic parts, and his range as an actor was truly impressive. Another quality that made Scott stand out was his distinctive voice. With its deep, gravelly tone, Scott's voice was instantly recognizable and added an extra layer of intensity to his performances. So, what makes George C. Scott stand out from his contemporaries in your view? What enduring qualities do you think make him an everlasting symbol of the industry? We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Throughout his career, Scott worked with some of the most talented directors and actors in the business. He appeared in a number of memorable films and TV shows, and there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about his life and career that we can't wait to share with you. So keep watching this video to learn more about the life and work of George C. Scott. Born in Wise, Virginia, in 1927, the actor had a challenging upbringing. His father, a former football player, became a restaurant manager, and his mother was a homemaker. The family moved frequently, and the young actor faced bullying due to a lisp, which he later corrected. The actor's love for acting began in high school, where he participated in school plays. However, his father disapproved of his career choice and wanted him to pursue a more stable profession. Despite his father's opposition, the actor pursued acting and enrolled in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. During his time at the Academy, the actor met several influential people who shaped his career. His mentor, actor, and director, Sanford Meissner, taught him the Meissner technique, which emphasizes emotional truth and responsiveness to other actors. The actor also worked with other notable figures, including Lee Strasberg and Stella Adler, who further refined his acting skills. The actor's early exposure to films and theater also played a significant role in his career. He was particularly influenced by the work of Laurence Olivier, whose versatility and range inspired the actor to explore different acting styles. Additionally, the actor's experience in live theater helped him develop his stage presence and ability to command an audience's attention. In the late 1950s, the actor began his film career, appearing in supporting roles in several films. His breakthrough role came in 1959 when he played a leading role in the Broadway production of Comes a Day, which earned him critical acclaim. Throughout his career, the actor remained committed to his craft, constantly pushing himself to explore new roles and techniques. He was known for his intense preparation and ability to fully immerse himself in his characters. His dedication and talent earned him numerous accolades, including two Academy Awards and four Emmy Awards. George C. Scott, 
a legendary figure in the world of film and theater, was born in 1927. His career, which spanned over five decades, is worth celebrating due to his significant contributions and enduring impact on the industry. The actor's talent was evident early on. After serving in the military, he began his career on stage, where he quickly made a name for himself. He won his first Tony Award in 1960 for his role in the Andersonville trial. Scott's talent was not limited to the stage. He made his film debut in 1959 and went on to appear in over 50 films and television shows. He received critical acclaim for his work in Patton, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1971. Despite his success, Scott was known for being a private and somewhat reclusive figure. He famously declined his Academy Award for Patton, stating that he did not believe in the competition. Scott's career was marked by his versatility and range as an actor. He played a wide variety of roles, from military leaders to Shakespearean characters. His portrayal of General George's Patton is widely regarded as one of the greatest performances in film history. In addition to his work in film and theater, Scott was also a director and producer. He directed several films and television shows, including The Andersonville Trial and The Birthday Party. Scott's impact on the industry is still felt today. His talent, dedication, and commitment to his craft continue to inspire actors and filmmakers around the world. George C. Scott may have been a private man, but his work speaks for itself, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of film and theater. From a young age, the actor showed a keen interest in performing. At the age of 13, he discovered his passion for acting after seeing a school production of Julius Caesar. He was captivated by the power of the actor's performances and the storytelling on stage. From that moment, he knew he wanted to become an actor. Despite facing initial resistance from his father, who wanted him to pursue a more traditional career, the actor was determined to follow his dream. He began performing in local theater productions and quickly gained a reputation for his talent and dedication. One pivotal experience that further fueled his desire to pursue acting was his time spent at the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts. There, he honed his craft and learned from some of the most respected actors and directors in the industry. He thrived in the challenging environment and developed a deep appreciation for the art of acting. The actor's passion for his craft was evident in every performance he gave. He brought a level of intensity and commitment to each role that was unmatched by his peers. His dedication to his craft and his ability to fully immerse himself in each character made him one of the most respected and admired actors of his time. In the film The Bible in the Beginning, the actor's portrayal of Abraham was so intense that director John Huston hired mafiosi bodyguards to protect Ava Gardner from him. Known for his method acting, the actor's commitment to his role was unparalleled. Later, in The Hustler, the actor played Burt Gordon, a character whose quiet whispers left Piper Laurie curious. When she asked him what he had said, the actor admitted to whispering nothing, believing that her imagination could conjure something more powerful. Despite his refusal of the Oscar he won for Patton in 1970, the actor accepted the Emmy for his performance in the 1971 Hallmark Hall of Fame production of The Price. He believed that the Emmy Awards were a more honest appreciation of an actor's work. These anecdotes reveal the actor's dedication to his craft, his ability to bring depth to any character he played, and his unique approach to acting that left a lasting impact on his co-stars and audiences alike. The actor, born George Campbell Scott, faced significant challenges on his path to success. Financial struggles were a constant companion in his early life. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, from being a newspaper delivery boy to working in a wire mill. These experiences, however, did not deter him from pursuing his passion for acting. Despite his talent, the actor encountered skepticism from the industry. Rejection letters piled up, but he remained undeterred. Instead of giving up, he honed his craft, performing in small theaters and taking acting classes. His resilience paid off when he landed his first significant role in the film Anatomy of a Murder in 1959. The actor's perseverance was also evident in his personal life. He struggled with alcoholism, which affected his career and relationships. However, he sought help and overcame his addiction, becoming a role model for many. His determination extended to his work as well. Known for his intense preparation, the actor would immerse himself in his roles, often staying in character even offset. 
This commitment earned him critical acclaim and two Academy Awards. In the end, the actor's story is one of resilience and determination. Despite financial struggles, industry skepticism, and personal challenges, he persevered, becoming one of the most respected actors of his time. In the film Patton, the American flag prominently displayed behind the actor is not a real flag, but rather a painting on the back wall of a soundstage at Sevilla Studios in Madrid, Spain. The actor's portrayal of General George's Patton Jr. earned him critical acclaim and a permanent place in film history. The actor also took on the role of Abraham in the Bible in the beginning. His portrayal of the biblical patriarch was notable for his ability to convey the character's complexity and depth. Interestingly, the actor's wife, Colleen Dewhurst, also appeared in the film as Rebecca, Abraham's daughter-in-law. In Dr. Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, the actor played the role of General Buck Turgidson. Turgidson is a seasoned military officer with an impressive array of medals and awards attesting to his service in both World War II and the Korean War. The actor's portrayal of Turgidson was both humorous and poignant, highlighting the absurdity of war and the dangers of unchecked military power. Throughout his career, the actor demonstrated a remarkable range and versatility, taking on a wide variety of roles and characters. His contributions to the world of film and television are still celebrated today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. After serving in the Korean War, the actor pursued a career in theater and made his Broadway debut in 1957. However, it wasn't until his chilling portrayal of General George Patton in the 1970 film Patton that he gained widespread recognition. The film earned him an Academy Award, which he famously declined, stating that he didn't believe in the competition aspect of awards. In 1962, the actor took on the role of a ruthless and cunning lawyer in the Andersonville trial. His powerful performance left a lasting impression on critics and audiences alike with the New York Times praising his extraordinary force and precision. The actor's career was marked by his refusal to be typecast as he tackled a wide range of roles in both film and theater. In 1971, he starred in The Hospital, a dark comedy that earned him a Golden Globe for Best Actor. The film's exploration of societal issues and the actor's nuanced performance were hailed by critics as groundbreaking. Throughout his career, the actor was known for his intense preparation and dedication to his craft. Director John Frankenheimer, who worked with the actor on the train, said, he was the most prepared actor I've ever worked with. He knew every line, every move, every thought of his character. The actor's impact on the film and theater industries is still felt today, with his unforgettable performances continuing to inspire and captivate audiences. As actor and director Warren Beatty put it, George C. Scott was one of the greatest actors who ever lived. The actor, known for his commanding presence on stage and screen, faced financial problems despite his success. In 1983, he sued the producers of The Last Days of Patton for one two million in unpaid profits. The case was settled out of court, but it highlighted the financial struggles many actors face. Scott's personal life was also fraught with challenges. He was married five times and had seven children, his relationships were often tumultuous, with allegations of physical and emotional abuse. In 1971, his third wife, Colleen Dewhurst, obtained a restraining order against him. Despite these struggles, Scott continued to work, appearing in films such as The Changeling and Taps. He also returned to the stage, where he had begun his career. In 1997, he starred in a revival of Inherit the Wind, earning critical acclaim for his performance. However, Scott's health began to decline in the late 1990s. He suffered from a series of strokes and was diagnosed with lung cancer. He died in 1999 at the age of 71. In the end, the actor's life was marked by both triumph and struggle. Despite his financial problems and personal challenges, he remained a respected and admired figure in the world of film and theater. His legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. The actor's artistic vision was deeply rooted in his early life experiences. Growing up during the Great Depression, he developed a keen sense of empathy for the struggling masses. This empathy was reflected in his portrayal of complex characters, often grappling with internal conflicts and external struggles. In his work, the actor was known for his meticulous preparation and deep immersion into his roles. He once said, before I go into a scene, 
I have to know everything there is to know about the character. I have to become that person. This commitment to authenticity was evident in his powerful performances, where he brought depth and nuance to each character he played. The actor's personal worldview was shaped by his experiences in the military and his political activism. He served in the Marines during World War II and was a vocal critic of American involvement in the Vietnam War. These experiences informed his anti-establishment views, which were often reflected in his choice of roles and his public statements. In his work, the actor was not afraid to take on controversial or challenging subjects. He tackled issues of race, class, and power with nuance and complexity, often subverting audience expectations and challenging the status quo. His willingness to take risks and push boundaries made him a unique and compelling figure in the world of film and theater. Despite his success, the actor remained deeply committed to his craft and to his artistic vision. He once said, I don't care about fame or fortune. I care about the work. I care about telling the truth. This dedication to authenticity and truth-telling was the hallmark of his career and the legacy he left behind. Initially, the actor's portrayal of General Patton earned him a spot among the greatest performances ever, as recognized by Premier Magazine. Interestingly, Robert Mitchum was considered for this role, but believed the actor was a better fit, a choice that proved to be well judged. Later, the actor took on the role of Lieutenant Kinderman in The Exorcist Roman III, sharing an indirect connection with the film through his ex-wife's voice work and his son's later role in a film about exorcism. This interweaving of personal and professional ties highlights a unique aspect of his career. The actor, George C. Scott, left an indelible mark on the film industry with his powerful performances and unique style. Known for his work in stage, film, and television, Scott's impact is still felt today. In the world of cinema, Scott's portrayal of General George S. Patton in the film Patton is considered one of the greatest performances in American film history. His commanding presence and intense delivery earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor, which he famously declined. Scott's contributions to television were also significant. He starred in the groundbreaking series East Side to His Side, where he played a social worker fighting for justice in a corrupt system. The show was praised for its gritty realism and social commentary, paving the way for future dramas. Industry experts and those inspired by Scott have praised his ability to fully embody a character and bring them to life. Actor Ed Harris noted, George C. Scott was a force of nature. He had a commanding presence and an incredible range as an actor. Scott's influence can also be seen in the trends and techniques of modern acting. His willingness to take on complex and challenging roles, as well as his commitment to method acting, inspired a generation of actors to push the boundaries of their craft. In addition to his acting, Scott was also a director and producer, further showcasing his versatility and impact on the industry. His production company, Scott Free Productions, produced films such as The Changeling and An Enemy of the People, showcasing his dedication to storytelling and artistic vision. Overall, George C. Scott's contributions to the film and television industry continue to resonate today. His powerful performances, commitment to his craft, and willingness to take on challenging roles have inspired generations of actors and filmmakers. As industry expert and historian David Thompson noted, George C. Scott was a titan of American acting whose influence and impact can still be felt today. After forming a close friendship on the set of Patton, George C. Scott and co-stars Stephen Young and Paul Stevens continued to act together in various roles. In The Exorcist Roman III, Scott portrayed Kinderman. While his relationship with writer William Peter Blatty was somewhat strained, despite their ability to work together. Scott's portrayal of Claude Dancer in Anatomy of a Murder showcased his talent for complex characters. Interestingly, he and Murray Hamilton shared the screen in both The Hustler and The Last Days of Patton, further highlighting the depth of his filmography. Delving into the intricacies of his career, one can't help but admire the actor's ability to embody diverse roles, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Despite the occasional challenge, George C. Scott consistently delivered compelling performances, making him a cherished figure in the annals of film history. His work continues to resonate with audiences, transcending generations, and leaving a lasting impact on the industry. The actor's ability to step into various roles, from General George's Patton Jr. to Kinderman, has solidified his place as a remarkable thespian in the realm of film. 
the tapestry of his career continues to unfold, captivating audiences and etching his legacy into the landscape of cinematic history. The actor, George C. Scott, was known for his intense dedication to his work, which was informed by his personal values and interests. He was a private person who preferred to keep his personal life separate from his professional one. However, some glimpses into his personal life reveal that he was an avid reader and enjoyed literature, which no doubt informed his acting. Scott was also a passionate supporter of various charitable causes. He was a vocal advocate for the rights of children and the elderly and donated generously to organizations that supported these groups. The actor was also a supporter of the arts and donated to various theater companies and arts organizations. One of Scott's most notable philanthropic efforts was his support for the Actors Fund of America, a charitable organization that provides financial assistance and social services to actors and other members of the entertainment industry. Scott was a longtime supporter of the organization and served on its board of directors for many years. In addition to his support for the Actors Fund, Scott was also involved in various other charitable endeavors. He was a supporter of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, an organization that works to improve the lives of people affected by multiple sclerosis. The actor also donated to various environmental organizations and was a vocal advocate for the protection of the natural world. Despite his private nature, Scott's personal values and interests were an integral part of his work as an actor. His dedication to his craft, his support for charitable causes, and his love of literature all informed his work and helped to make him one of the most respected and admired actors of his generation. As one of the most celebrated actors in Hollywood, the film work of George C. Scott has left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. With his powerful presence and commanding voice, he brought depth and authenticity to every role he played. In Patton, Scott delivered a riveting performance as the controversial World War II general, earning him an Academy Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of the complex and larger-than-life character was both intense and nuanced, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. In Dr. Strangelove, Scott played a more subdued but equally impactful role as the calm and collected General Buck Turgidson. His comedic timing and delivery added a layer of humor to the dark satire, making it a classic film to this day. Beyond his film work, Scott also made his mark on the stage earning numerous accolades for his performances in various plays. His talent and dedication to his craft have solidified his place as one of the greatest actors in history. What are your thoughts on George C. Scott's work and legacy? Share them in the comments below and join the conversation celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family and subscribe for more content celebrating the artists who have left their mark on the world of entertainment.